got Chris tied up here with a, I don't know how big it is, but it's a big one. It bit the bait on the way down. Yes. He's, hopefully we can get him through all these boats that are below us. Hopefully we can stay right up here with him. Been kind of a little bit slow bite on the big ones today. We had to break down and put the small baits out. Again, up oh, just done pissed him off. Be a big one too. What would be big? <laughs> oh, I don't know yet, but the way it started off, keep your rod lower so that it doesn't get on the side of the boat. It started off looking like a, a really big one, but it's hard to say with the way that thing, you know, hit it on the way down, or I don't really know what went on there. Not, they're not going to like us too much if. Come through there. Now you're making some headway. Usually when they get tired, they'll blow their air bladder, look like a submarine, getting ready to surface. Yeah, you're making good headway now. off the side of the boat. There you go. Good job. There's bubbles. See the bubbles? He blew his air bladder so he's getting he's getting tired. Sometimes they can do that a couple times. Not like a rock though, right? No, they burp they're able to burp their air bladder and go right back down. You're probably blowing too, huh? <laughs> yeah. Get a look at him, I think, here. Keep it low, I'll spin off of it. Get a look at him here. Yeah, he's going to come up.
there's the bubbles again. That's what that is? Yeah, the big bubbles. Not little bubbles. It looks like a five gallon bucket full of air coming. Here. Oh, 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 oh. There's there color. There, yeah, there he is. He's little, little seven footer. Oh my God, that's a seven footer. Jesus. He might be a little bigger than that. But... Yeah, a little seven foot, 150 pounds, 175 maybe. Oh, that's a big fish. I got Be that gentle. on camera. <laughs> Be gentle. Oh boy. Oh, did you just come off? No, you still no, got him. I got him. What is this? Full GoPro? No, how to use that? You just push the button? It's on. Oh, it's on. I was recording. I was trying to get... How do you know what it's doing? I don't know. That's the problem. Yeah. Well, I'm assuming they have a wide angle lens, so I'll just yeah, back up here. Yeah, you, probably, you probably got another oversized or a, a big would-be keeper. Well, yeah, I'm pulling batteries, so. Yeah, they have like, uh, it's like a sports camera. Yeah, I've seen them where you strap them on your head or... Yeah, they give you... These are the ones the guys put on their mountain bikes when they go run into a wall and crash and say, look at this! Yep. It's kind of hard to point it when you can't see where it's... Yeah, they sell, of course, the attachments, you know, separate, like a hundred bucks for the LCD lens. But you can't zoom in, I don't think. You can't tell what you're... Oh, oh, that one's going. Probably tangled. Yeah, probably. I know they are. Hey, I'm going to set the camera back down here. Yeah, I think I... Oh, yeah. on the other side since that's where he wants to go anyway. Right under the shadow, there he is. There he is, about a four footer. Not, a, not the 10 and a half, 11, but. Well, it's his lucky day. We're only playing with him or he'd be getting filleted. Actually, we'd probably already been done today on keepers, so. Push that top button, it'll... It's going? Yeah. I hope. Uh, I'll be good. I'm the same size as the last one. Hard to say. I don't think he's big as the other one. He's probably 
Yeah. No, probably. Yeah, the big ones are quite special, but I think, you know, catching the, the four, five, and six footers on the salmon rods is probably a little more fun. They're not quite as painful. Yeah, painful is the right word. Oh yeah, that's a nice one. Nice, would be. Yeah, would be. Somewhere close to that, we'll just turn button in. Yeah. Oh yeah, he's a dandy. Pictures is like if you're on a snowboard or something or motorcycle riding. Should take, get me one of those and put it in my deer blind this year. Of course, then maybe that's not the plan. I'm standing in the pile of apples when I shot him. <laughs> well, well, I probably wouldn't make good TV. So we're, we're, we're about efficiency out there. Right. We're a deer removal team. Deer removal. That's, that's what I called the guy the other day that we hunt his property. I said, it's Dennis Hall from deer, your deer, deer removal services crew. Yeah. He wants him the hell out of there. Like two or three years ago, they. Oh, God. He wrapped. He wrapped. That's a wrap? No. But I missed him. Three, three years ago, I guess it was, he had a. His daughter, I think, she lives out there in an apartment above the garage. And I think she's like a 40-year-old ghoul mom. I don't think they usually get this far north. But yeah, the stripers, they, they colonized the Umqua system. They actually used to have a pretty damn good run on the Umqua and the, the Smith system off of the Umqua. But now they're, you know, they're fishing wildlife. It, ah! I think I got that on video. That's all I needed. That was a... like he's hog tied. It feels like he is now. I mean, he was pulling a minute ago. It's just real flat. Oh, there's the bubbles. See the bubbles? Yeah, right there. Yeah, he's all wrapped up. Oh, no. He's a good fish, but he's all backwards. Oh. Do I have him hooked in the gut? No, the I side? think he's in the mouth. But, no, he's right in the butt. In the butt. Right in the butt. Not what? anybody could do that. That's talent. Right in the old butthole. Here, I'll let you unhook that one. That's, that's good TV there. That's... <laughs> we got a nice butthole. <laughs> Bye-bye.